what is going on on this wacka granny Wednesday? And today we're trying to whack out some of these yards, some of these grainy yards, but you know, the rain is just, ah! Anyway, just pulled up at this yard. I got rained out. Luckily, uh, you guys were able to get some of the, um, enjoy some of the footage I was able to get is what I'm trying to say on the last yard because that area just got covered with massive amounts of rain so instead of going home this is what you sometimes have to do when you're self-employed you're an entrepreneur you work for yourself you can't just go home if you go home you're not gonna get paid so you you start hunting when I when I say hunting I mean you start hunting you look at the radar look look at the weather channel where is it not raining as much so I went to a different part of town I'm gonna go ahead and mow this yard have not touched base with that house just yet uh, I'm gonna either text her or if they hear me with the mower maybe they'll come out if not I'll just text her and then of course this guy I don't know if he wants me to cut it just yet or not he's the kind of customer that if he does he'll come out and uh, say hi to me and then of course pay me and if he doesn't come out that means he doesn't really want the yard to be mowed just yet but as you can see and I don't know if you noticed in that last yard uh, I'm dealing with a lot of weeds in my normal yards, you know, not the treated yards of any kind. Other than that, it's just fescue, but it's really mostly weed. I mean, I say 90% of it is just weeds. So, you know, I do have a lot of clients who just do not care to get that special treatment of taking care of their yards and all that good stuff. But in all reality, that's mostly how it is for me in this area. You know, every area is different. In some areas, you know, you've got these nice fancy yards with nice fancy homes and you've got just amazing grass right i mean these, those people really have dedicated uh, a lot of money and uh, want a nice lawn but every area is different i don't know in our area here you know yes you have those homes of course in those neighborhoods but i mean not as many you know parts of it as some of the other areas and across the country you know this in my area in particular in my clientele base I don't know probably 60 70 80 percent of it is just stuff like this so I'm battling with fescue zoysia a little bit here and there and uh, Bermuda whatever I mean if I come across it just here and there but it's mostly fescue and weeds honestly um, and, and, and look when you have a lot of weeds you don't really want to cut it too low because you're just weeds is like it goes into a frenzy when you cut it super low it'll just it'll start to grow even faster and then you you really won't have any grass but you know clients especially the ones that don't really care to spend a lot of money into that aspect of it they do like to cut the grass have the grass cut a lot lower and uh you know i try to tell them i, I you know look i actually will not go too low what about you ninjas how low do you really want to go um, I don't I don't I will not go below three inches because seriously it's it's at that point you're risking of digging dirt hitting a rock um, so my bi-weeklies are probably around three three and a quarter and my uh, weeklies are probably around three and a half to four just depending on the kind of yard it is and the kind of customer it is and as some of you know in from the past I've actually had to turn clients down on, on going lower I have one lady uh, we haven't started her yard just yet I'm sure we will here within another week or two but she wants that grass burnt she does not care and I literally have to put up a fight with her and say look I'm not damaging my mower because you're trying to get me to cut it two inches uh, I'm not gonna do that and so we've kind of come to an agreement around three inches but even at three inches sometimes she's like it just doesn't seem it's low enough I'm like ma'am I'll be back in two weeks chill out you know Go grab a popsicle. Matter of fact, go get me a popsicle too if you got one, because it's freaking 100 degrees out here, and I really don't want to be staying out, standing out here and arguing with you about you know three inches, two and a half, three and a half. Come on, the yard is cut. It looks good. Pay me. Let me get out of here. Anyway, but you know, some clients are like that, ninja. Some clients you're gonna have. So any of you new ninjas who are going into this business, you know, I would recommend to you do not go below three, three and a quarter on your bi-weeklies. And maybe on your weeklies three and a half to f would be like the lowest to four and some weeklies are even four and a half some weeklies are super nice beautiful plush plush fescue and you know four and a half is just leaving those nice stripes also if you want to stripe a yard nicely for all you stripely ninjas out there who are crazy for stripes i mean who's not come on um 
And you're probably wondering, but me, how do I stripe? I want to stripe, but you know, we can't stripe. But look, some of the yards you can't even stripe, honestly. Some of the yards that are weed infested is super hard to stripe, right? But if you are wanting to stripe yards, the taller you cut, the easier it'll be to stripe. So why do you say that? Well, because you're only cutting a small portion of from the top of the grass and the deck is actually laying down that grass. So when you make a pass and then you come back, that's where you get them stripes. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, ninjas? Of course it does. Anyway, but a lot of my clients don't really care for the stripes, especially when they're weed infested like that. They just want to cut nicely and that's fine. And I love stripes. I mean, who, like I said, who doesn't, but I don't really, I don't really like, you know what I mean? It's, I'm not gonna like try to stripe a yard that I'm working with this. I mean, that's ridiculous. You can't. First of all, I can't cut this at four inches, okay? Three and a half, four inches. It won't really make a huge difference. The weeds will still be there. And I'll probably get a call from the customer saying, you didn't cut it short enough. So striping is out the window on uh, stuff like this. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to maybe get a little bit of more footage here for you ninjas, but I hope that's helped you. If you're trying to stripe, you know, and what kind of grass are you working it too? You know, fescue stripes really nicely. But if you're working with zoysia or Bermuda, you know, that that's kind of tough to stripe because those types of grasses, I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying it's tough because those types of grasses, they want them cut short. And sometimes you gotta cut them short. That's just the type of grass it is. So anyway, 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 that's just what it is. That's just what it is. You're gonna have different types of grasses. You're gonna have different types of clients who wanna cut it short, but make sure that you do not allow yourself to get a customer to get you to drop it down to two inches. And then, I mean, and that's not just because you you don't wanna cut it that short so that way they don't have to call you back in a month. That's literally risking your mower. You will hit something. When you drop that deck that low, you're asking for it. So, you know, come up with a, you know, and, and when you meet a new customer, all right, before I go, I don't wanna keep, but when you meet a new client, you know, let's say this was a new quote for me, for example. Okay, I would literally talk to them, walk around, be like, okay, are you want a weekly, bi-weekly? Oh, I want a, I want a bi-weekly. Okay, um, you know, I cut around three and a half inches on my weeklies to four on my bi-weeklies. You know, I'm around three, three and a quarter. Are you okay with that? And if they say, yeah, that's fine, I guess, whatever. You know, most most people are just like, yeah, I don't even know what that is really, but okay, um, great. And if they say no, I really like a shorter. Uh, you know, I tell them I really do not want to go below three inches and if they're really insist And if you like a yard you want to land the yard, but they really insist for you to go lower um, Consider charging more is the only thing else I would say and then of course you're gonna be taking that risk of hitting something So all right enough of that. Let's get to it before the rain starts again <laughs> This sucks, ninjas, because I'm usually, it's first of all, it's way too wet anyway, but then they've got some stuff over there. I'm usually able to kind of make a pass and get a lot of it, but this whole hill has got to be weed eated. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun.
Well, and here comes the rain. I mean, it is literally coming down pretty hard. At least I got this hill done. I got a little bit right here by the stairs and I'm gonna go ahead and blow off as quickly as possible. So the rain followed me, ninjas. What do you do? I am soaked. Took me forever to blow off. The rain has eased off a little bit, but man, is it messy and nasty out here. I'm gonna go ahead and text. He's not come out, so I'm pretty sure we're not doing that one today, which is perfectly fine with me considering the conditions. Um, her grass needs it bad. I mean, it's over ankle high. Luckily, it's a super small yard, but I'm already here. I'm already a mess. Equipment's already a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and text her, and if she says yes, I'll just go ahead and do it because I don't want to have to come back just for one little grainy yard. <sighs> what a freaking mess. But it's done. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, ninjas. You can't, you can't quit. I mean, unless it's thundering lightning and severe thunderstorms and massive rain. But when it's consistent, it's eased off now. But when it's consistent like this and it catches you in the middle, you got to finish the job. You can't just quit. I got the green light. She was like, yes, please, if you can. I know it's wet, but uh, it needs to be mowed really bad. And yes, it does. I'm not going to record that one just because situation that I'm dealing with but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out and then uh, I'll see you back in the truck ninjas boy was that a freaking mess or what oh my gosh man do you ninjas charge extra for poop yards I mean the poop that was in that small little front yard I don't think she has a dog in the house I think she has a horse and it was everywhere. No wonder the grass was so freaking tall. Talk about fertilizer. It was bad. I mean, luckily I didn't get any on my face or my hands, but uh, definitely got some on my shoes. I had to like be super careful, not only where I step, which I couldn't avoid that, but where the weed eater head hits. Man, was it bad. I, I don't, that wasn't like that last year. So she must've gotten a horse during uh, Christmas or something. Do you need to just charge extra for that? I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't mind like a little bit here and there. I mean, it's just part of it, whatever. You know, a lot of it mower will just run over. But when you have every step, huge chunks, I'm talking like horse. It's the only, or hippo or something. I don't know. You could break a leg on it if you trip and fall. I tell you that much, it's that bad. I never really charged extra for poop yards. You know, just like I said, a little bit here and there, whatever. But that that made me think twice. So let me know, do you guys charge that extra? Do you even take on yards or do you let your customers know up front that it's an additional charge or I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. I'm soaked, I'm wet, I'm cold. And I'm not gonna go do any more yards. It's 5.30. I'm done, I'm done, I'm beat. I'm beat just with these two yards because I got hit in the rain. And that's a lot of freaking weed eating and uh, these hills. And then that whole yard had to be pretty much weed eated. I only was able to get with the mower like a couple of swipes in the middle. But the rest was just all weed eating. And it was super thick. Anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, customers will demand things. And you have to be, like I said, we talked about it earlier. When customers demand things like the height of the grass know where you are and what equipment you're working with and hold your ground don't fall in for that and i have fallen for that but that's how i learned you know i used to kill myself with a push mower and i was cutting overgrown yard for three four hours and double cutting and i mean it's just a mess and i, I made no money really so i've learned from it but uh there is customers who will demand certain heights and when they do if it's a reasonable demand, fine. But if it's something crazy, be be ready for that and just stand your ground. It's your equipment, you know. The customer is not going to go out there and replace your blades or your spindles, you know. It, it, you can hit rocks and all kinds of things. So, Or you could hit poop that size where it's horse poop and you could really damage a mower. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Hope that's helped you. Stay tuned. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. I probably have a video tomorrow too, just because it's going to be actually a first nice day. That's what they say. 
and uh, we'll see. Take care, ninjas. Whack a Granny Wednesday is out the way. Yeah. Peace.